it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to prepare the chassis for the race car J. Let's get started. You might remember a few months ago I put together a race car J chassis. Since then I put together several cars and I learned a few tricks. I thought I would share them with you. There are four clips holding on the body. Remove the clips. And take off the body. The next step is to remove the body mounts. There are two two millimeter screws holding on each body mount. You can use a driver to remove the screw. If you are making a lot of race car J's, you might want to use a power screwdriver, which I happen to have here. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. We'll put the body mounts in a little baggie, keep them and the screws that attach them to the body. The next step is to remove the receiver box. There are four screws to remove. One, two, and two on the side. These are all two millimeter screws. Let's remove the receiver box cover. There is no receiver with the slash platinum, so we can just remove the servo wires. One goes to the steering servo, that one there. And now we'll take out the receiver box. This is also a two millimeter. And we'll put the receiver box in a little baggie. The next step, we'll take out the stock electronic speed controller. We unplug the motor wires. There are two screws, one on either side of the ESC. Let's remove those. Let's get this little lead out of the way first. Okay, now we have access. Now we can take this, let's put it in the receiver box, baggie. And we can remove the antenna holder, yank it out of there with my pliers. Okay, let's squirrel away our wire here a little bit for the steering servo. The next step is to remove the front bumper. There are five screws that hold on the bumper, two on the top and three on the bottom. Let's remove the ones on the top. Now we flip the car over. 
there are three here on the bottom. And now the bumper should pop right off. It's a good idea to keep your screws in a container so they don't run away on you. And the bumper pops right off. Let's turn it back over. The next step is to upgrade the springs. I have my little spring kit here from racecarj.com. There are four springs in the package, two short springs for the front, and two long springs for the rear. We will work on this front shock assembly first. There's a screw holding the shock assembly to the suspension arm. So let's unscrew that. Let me swing it back up here. Compress the spring. Pull down the retainer. Remove it. Remove the spring. Grab one of the short springs. Make sure the seat's on the collar down here. Compress the spring. Put the retainer back on. Make sure that the spring goes up against the retainer correctly. It seats. And we're ready to screw it back in. One down, three to go. Now it's time to do the rear shock assemblies. It's easier to access the suspension arm mounting point of the shock tower if the car is turned over. Press the spring, remove the retainer. Get one of the long springs. And it goes. And one more spring to do. Okay, the next step is to install the bumper upgrade. We have our bumper here, here's the foam, carbon fiber bits and pieces, here's the mounting hardware, and some instructions. Okay, we removed the bulkhead tie bar which is this little beast here.
Now we install the hinge pin retainer with our 20 millimeter here. The next step is to install the upper front bumper retainer. We reuse a couple of screws here from the old bumper. New one goes here. The next step is to install the two bumper standoffs on the lower front bumper skid. So that's these two babies. The instructions recommend that we use some thread locking compound. I'm game for that. So I don't make a mess. I'm sorry, so the mess is contained. <laughs> Shake this baby up. A little on the screw. Let's tighten these with a 2.5 millimeter driver. Now we insert the bumper foam pad over the standoffs. Now let's put this bit over. Now we install the lower bumper assembly to the chassis. Three screws. And we flip the car back over. The final step of the bumper install is to install the two upper bumper standoff screws. Front bumper installation complete. So there we have it, our upgraded chassis. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.